Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, we are exploring what used to be the banking tab in QuickBooks Online. Recently, QuickBooks has launched a capital center. Under the new banking tab, you can manage PPP loans, apply for business capital, and track your business credit score. However, that will be detailed more in another video, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. This is the business view of QuickBooks Online for my business owner viewers. This is not what you will see if you are a new home bookkeeper. If you are a bookkeeper, please check out my QuickBooks Tutorials for Bookkeepers playlist that is available on my channel. First things first, you'll want to head over to the Bookkeeping tab. Here is where you can see all the tasks typically completed by a bookkeeper. However, for new businesses not ready to outsource, this is where you will handle all of your weekly or monthly bookkeeping tasks. Under the Transactions tab, you'll see the business bank accounts you have synced with QBO. Any transactions performed in these accounts will feed into QuickBooks just like you would see in your online banking. However, here is where you will categorize each transaction. To link a new account you don't see here, click the white Link Account button. Here you will see that QuickBooks has partnered with over 20,000 financial institutions. You can scroll or enter your bank, credit union, credit card, or your lending institution in the search bar. Once you find what you are looking for, simply select it and log in with your online account credentials. For the accounts you already have connected, if you scroll down, you will see the uncategorized transactions that you need to review and assign to a category. Up along the top, you can see three tabs for review, categorized, and excluded. The categorized tab is where you will see the transactions you have already reviewed. The excluded are the transactions that you do not want reflected on your books. However, I do not recommend excluding transactions unless they are maybe duplicated in error. An auditor will review your books along with your bank statements, and any money coming in or out needs to be accounted for. To categorize a transaction, simply select the transaction and enter the payee info. Select an appropriate category and click the green confirm button when finished. If you have a transaction that isn't typical for your business and you need to create a new chart of account to categorize it, you can do so by clicking the add pop-up link. Doing so will trigger a new chart of account screen. Enter the type of account, account details, and name the account accordingly. When finished, click the green save and close button. Now I recommend if possible, finding a match first before adding any transactions to avoid duplicates. If you have an invoice that has a payment, match the deposit to the payment before you add the payment deposit as income. Matching will avoid you having an inflated or deflated profit and loss. If you have a transaction that you have previously categorized but maybe miscategorized or simply wish to change it, head over to the Categorized tab and find the transaction you wish to edit. Then click Undo. This will put the transaction back into the Review tab where you can change the categorization of the transaction. You can also undo any excluded transactions and the same thing will happen. That transaction will be pulled back into the For Review tab. Up along the top of the screen, you will also see tabs like App Transactions. If you connect something like Square or Amazon or PayPal to your QuickBooks, you'll also see my favorite, the Receipts tab. As a bookkeeper, it's about 51% of my job <laughs> to hound my clients for receipts. It is what it is. However, you don't have to be that person who fails audits, pays more in taxes, 
or doesn't have the appropriate documentation recording their deductions and expenses. You can be awesome. All of the enthusiasm aside here, there are four easy ways to manage receipts. And three of them are listed here in the banking tab. You can use a scanner. I have two linked below and listed on my website that I use and love. So feel free to check those out. You can upload from Google Drive or you can even forward your receipts if you have anything emailed from your email. If you forward from email, you can create a customized receipt email for your company that goes directly into your QBO account. This is a great option if your company has multiple working partners or multiple people making purchases. The fourth way to manage receipts is not listed here, but that is through the QBO mobile app. I have talked about it a bunch and I have an entire receipts video, if not a couple, uh, so go check them out on my channel. However you add your receipts to the system, this is where they will be. When you have receipts, they will show up down below. There you can match them to the transaction or find a transaction to match it to. QBO will scan the receipt and try to find a transaction to match it to, but it doesn't always work, so you may have to do a little hunting. This is why it is less time consuming to stay up to date and on top of your bookkeeping tasks. Next is the All Sales tab. This is where you will see all of your sales transactions. Along the top, color-coded in QBO fashion, is the unbilled activity and estimates. Orange is for overdue invoices. Gray are open, but not yet due. And green is everything that has been paid in the last 30 days. And finally, we have expenses. This is where you will see any added expenses and where you can print checks. And there you have it. A detailed overview of the new transactions tab in the business view of QuickBooks Online. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.